economy is a fundamental pillar for the economy development of any state with maritime resources. This has always been the case from the ancient economic activities. However, this will not be possible without the injection of shipbuilding industry. Shipbuilding started in Kenya as way back in 1901-1902. The main reason was for movement of goods as well as people, mostly from Mombasa all the way to the uh, Eastern Africa and Central Africa. And this went on well until uh, 1965. And thereafter, the activity of shipbuilding declined to the extent that in the early 80s, we would now have to import new uh, fleets uh, or new ships. As a result, Kenya Shipyards Limited was incorporated in September 2020 to lead and catalyze the introduction of shipbuilding industry in East Africa with a focus on meeting the local demand from Kenya Navy, ministries departments, and agencies with maritime assets and other public and private domestic and regional clients. Kenya Shipyards Limited is supposed to catalyze shipbuilding both in the country as well as in the Eastern African region. And we are looking at the Eastern African region because we are a community that are connected together in terms of requirements, especially in terms of security requirements. Kenya Shipyards Limited key partnerships have enabled regional and global cooperation, leading to the realization of its full potential. Shipbuilding is an assembly industry, so you cannot do it without having partners. And we want to focus on partners that are going to support the other pillars so that we bring in value of cost effectiveness, we bring in value of quality, bring in value of professionalism. We are engaging with Damen in the initial partnership of the actual construction. So we are jointly constructing with them with a view to building the capacity of our personnel. Within the two years that I'm here, we have established from nothing to a complete hull, and what is normal with a ship with these dimensions. The expectations were, or the planning was, that it was around 36 months. So with the effort from all the local people from the KSL, that we have reduced it up to 18 months. And that is a huge, huge performance. If you consider there was in this yard nearly to nothing, only the dock itself, and that we used every square meter on this yard to get all the panels laid out, every pipe system, and we get all electrical on board within the 18 months. And that is something to be proud of. In future, we want to bring in partners that will look at the various aspects of shipbuilding, from funding, technical support, the actual shipbuilding, the construction itself. We are going to see ourselves bring in more partners, especially the local institutions in terms of uh, capacity building, and also international and uh, regional partners. We want to start attracting the various industries that um, will contribute to the various packages that are required by KSL. We've already started engaging with DEVKI in terms of steel because shipbuilding is steel. And the reason why we're engaging with them is that the qualities that are required, especially for marine gate steel, is slightly different from what is required for construction. We have discussions with the numerical machining complex in terms of just production of the various components and parts. We're also engaging with the other stakeholders in the blue economy so that we look at the blue economy holistically in terms of legal requirements, in terms of incentives that spur the blue economy, in terms of tools and equipments that uh, require blue economy and synergy in terms of the various stakeholders. This promotes knowledge, technology, best practices and skills transfer to those employed and achievement of major milestones. The first one is in terms of uh, just upgrade of the various infrastructures that support shipbuilding as well as construction. So in Mombasa, we have constructed a facility that is uh, capable of uh, handling up to 4,000 tons in terms of weight and 150 in terms of meter, both for construction of new ships, refit and repair of ships, as well as maintenance of the same. We've also upgraded this yard. We upgraded it in five months, and now construction is being undertaken. So one area that we have already so far engaged in is in terms of uh, upgrade of the facilities and infrastructures that support shipbuilding. The second is the actual shipbuilding activity in the areas of construction, we are already constructing 
a ship here, a wagon ferry, which is uh, uh, 100 meters in length and will be capable of transporting up to 2 million liters of fuel or cargo, whichever way, if you convert into kilograms. We are already uh, modernizing a warship for the Kenya Navy, which is ongoing and which is going to be commissioned in the next uh, two months. MV Uruan was revived by the shipyard in 2019. And so far, the demand is huge and cannot be satisfied by MV Uruan. So the previous government then decided immediately to construct the second one. So MV Uru 2 principally is just to actually take care of the demand that cannot be met by MV Uru 1. The other one is in terms of acquisition of uh, the maritime assets. We have uh, already acquired a tag for uh, Kenya Ports Authority, a pilot boat for Kenya Ports Authority. We are also maintaining their ferries and vessels. We are also supplying for the various ministries, departments and agencies the various shipbuilding packages that are required. This progression and success has been brought about by identification of key strategic pillars that have steered KSL service delivery. Among them are quality service, customer focus, cost effectiveness, research and development. Kenya Shipyards Limited has dedicated staff who continually visit the customers, listen to their requirements, and provide for procurements that align to their requirements. So customer focus is number one. Our positioning, our location in Kenya cuts down the cost of shipbuilding by almost close to 15%. We are using local labor. So that is also bringing down costs. With the cost effectiveness, I want to also add delivery, the promptness of delivery. Just by virtue of location, we cut down the delivery time by almost close to six months. Because there's the issue of transportation abroad three months, bringing them back three months. So in terms of del delivery, we're also going to be prompt. Number three, we are talking about quality. So quality is something that we cannot talk so much about. Quality is demonstrated. This is going to demonstrate as well as what we are doing in Mombasa. Our dream is to be sustainable in the next 10 years. So we are bringing in the issue of research and development. In terms of just innovating and in terms of making sure that we are sustainable in future, we can design our own. So already in the next two to three months, we are going to visit the local communities, both in Lake Victoria as well as the Indian Ocean, to just listen to their requirements so that we can bring in indigenous designs that actually adds value in terms of their requirements. So R&D is a critical one. Revamping shipbuilding in Kenya has led to revenue generation through blue economy, job creation and support to the local markets. Salary and Pia Napata, at least in an idea, and our total Alpia school fees, Napia Nasa idea, what to pay to him. Mimi Fanikazi, Apaka, Katika Kampunia, KSL, Namla Funga Chuma, Nanashkuru, Kujunga, Katika Bradi, who KSL, Kenya Shipyard, Kisumu, Mimi Fidisha, and Mimbeza Kusia, Mazazi Kumbani, Mambo, Menginia, Madoga, and a Bali Kiki. We are creating employment and generating revenue for government. All the supplies for the local materials have actually been given to the local suppliers. In 2023, Kenya Shipyards Limited organized the East African Countries Military Industrial Facilities Expo to showcase military capacities beyond their primary mandate. We are hosting the five Eastern African militaries in terms of uh, their requirements of uh, concerning maritime assets and we are going to actually display the products that we are having, which is actually going to interest them. And this is one of the areas also that we are seeing as a way of just marketing ourselves and uh, making ourselves known. Kenya Shipyards Limited as the anchor shipbuilding industry in Kenya aims to leverage technology transfer. This is done through ship construction, maintenance, repair and modular maritime works hence catalyzing the shipbuilding industry in the region. We are excited that the government of Kenya 
has seen Kenya Shipyards Limited as a strategic opportunity to establish an industry and not a shipyard. And we are excited about the support that the government has given us. Ours is to deliver on that vision of catalyzing shipbuilding industry in the region, starting with Kenya Shipyards Limited.